Did you know a third of your life is spent sleeping? My guest says that God is trying to communicate with you through your dreams, and many believers are missing it because we're blinded by the enemy's deception. This stops today. Next. Welcome, Holy Spirit. Make this show naturally supernatural. Dr. Charles Fox is a seer, has accurate visions from God. Every day and every night, Charles says this should be normal for all believers. Charles, although you grew up in a believing home, as a child, you were attacked by the demonic. You were actually choked by demons. Tell me about that. Exactly. I started to see demonic things when I was very young. In fact, they were like these little kangaroo-like looking creatures that were hopping around the city. I was from Brooklyn, New York. But then when I got a little older, I began to have these things at night that started, I felt literal hands around my throat. And so it was scaring me. It was, I was fearful. And many times when, when children are gifted, the enemy tries to attack them early because he tries to get them in fear so that they won't use that, that gift, that seer gift. But then when you made a real commitment to God, things started to change. You know, I went from the demonic to the angelic after I had my own encounter with God in my bedroom. You know, I was only a teenager and I was on my bunk bed and all of a sudden the power of God came on me. I was being electrocuted by God hmm. because I noticed there's a presence in my room. I was used to the demonic, but this time there was a presence and all of a sudden it was inside of me and I was shaking, just electric electricity in my body. Your dream propelled you into your ministry. What happened? I had a dream encounter where I was in heaven and I saw Jesus. It's one of the only times that I saw Jesus really clear. And I was on an altar, this altar, and he started throwing down what I believe to be fireballs. And he was tossing them over his shoulder and he was smiling at me while he was doing it. He threw down seven fireballs. Now, I was too young to understand what that seven meant. But you look in the Revelation, the book of Revelation, the seven spirits of God refer, refer to the fullness of the Holy Spirit. Jesus is the baptizer in the Holy Spirit. So he was baptizing me. That was the dream, baptizing me in the Holy Spirit. My life hasn't been the same. And that's what dream encounters do. Uh, what did you feel when these fireballs were coming at you? An amazing feeling. It didn't hurt. You would think they would hurt, but it was an amazing feeling. It was like ecstasy. That's the only word that describes it. I didn't want it to end. And since that moment, my life has always been going back to that. That's my point of departure for everything. I want to experience Jesus. It made me hungry. I wanted more of God. All dreams and visions, many people don't realize they're coming from God. Why? You know, Job 33, 14 through 16 says this, for God may speak in one way or in another, yet man does not perceive it in a dream, in a vision of the night, when deep sleep falls upon men while slumbering on their beds. Then he opens the ears of men and seals their instruction. That's why we don't recognize it. God is speaking to us. He speaks in dark sayings, but we don't recognize it because we're too distracted. What are, what are some of the things that God tells us in dreams? He confirms direction in our lives. He begins to reveal the future. He begins to tell us what our purpose is. Dreams are extremely important. You know, we've seen in science where God has begun to give people all kinds of formulas and all throughout history, God has spoken in dreams. Charles, why do most people miss the interpretation of dreams. God masked truth. He's masked the truth in dreams. Proverbs 25, 2 says, it's the glory of God to conceal a matter. It's the glory of kings to search it out. Some people are kind of lazy. They just don't want to invest time to look at and to investigate their dreams. Why is it most believers uh, 
don't have dreams, or if they have them, they don't understand them, or if or their dreams, they say, oh, it must be demonic. Uh, why is this going on? The enemy likes to distract us. He likes to bring deception. You know, my pastor many years ago said this, you become like what you worship. The more time you spend with God, the more you'll hear his voice. Jesus said in John, my sheep hear my voice, and, they, and I know my sheep, and they know me. So the more that you practice the presence of God, you'll be able to discern who it is that's speaking to you. And so if you discern that when you're awake, you'll discern it when you're asleep. Many feel their dreams are not from God, and they dismiss them as pizza dreams. When we return, Charles will reveal the many ways God speaks to you through night visions and what they mean. Be right back. We will be right back to It's Supernatural! Hello, YouTube Mishpocha. Mishpocha is a Hebrew word. It means family. This is Sid Roth. Welcome to my world where it's naturally supernatural. If you've been blessed by this show, please subscribe. Then click the bell so you won't miss a single episode of It's Supernatural. We now return to It's Supernatural. Charles, there's so many things that God imparts to us in dreams. Uh, you say a dream could be a uh, uh, invitation to spiritual warfare. Yes, exactly. Boy. I had a dream one night when God was inviting me into spiritual warfare. I had a dream I was walking through this depressed community, and all of a sudden I wound up on this ship, and I knew it was a slave ship because everyone on this ship had either they were in prostitution and drugs, they had missing kidneys, they had everything wrong with them. They were totally oppressed. And all of a sudden, I began to walk and I put them in a line and I began to give words of knowledge and they began to get healed and they began to get set free. And all of a sudden, after they were free, I began to walk to exit the ship. But all of a sudden, I saw stairs to my left. And I looked at it and I said, let me go up those stairs because as a seer, you want to keep seeing. Mm -hmm. So I went up the stairs to where the captain would be. And I saw in this bed, he was slumbering, this huge presence, it was a dark figure. And right away, I knew that was the entity that was responsible for all the suffering down below. And all of a sudden, righteous indignation just came upon me. And I said, get up. And it got up and attacked me. But immediately, you know, in our dreams, we got supernatural strength. Right. I began to do all kind of karate chops, and it was like, hoo, hoo, hoo. <laughs> and I was hitting this thing, and it was going after me, and I knocked him down, and he was down for a while. And all of a sudden, I turned to my right, and I saw a little New Testament Bible, like one of those Gideon Bibles. Mm -hmm. I placed it right there on the chest of this big thing, and it was totally defeated. He was showing me through that dream that how did Jesus defeat the devil? He said, it is written, and he right. knocked the mess out of him. The church has got to know the Word. He was showing me you defeat him with the Word. Give me um, how we would know if a dream is counterfeit and from the enemy. You know, God is not the author of confusion. Many times when you have a sat satanic dream or a dark dream, they cause confusion. You get up, there's a feeling that you don't feel right about the dream. Um, it's also important for us, I mentioned the Word earlier, we need to know the Word of God. Because if you know the Word of God and you know how the enemy can't deceive you by knowing the Word, then you won't be, able to, you won't be deceived in your dream when he shows up there. Many people want to have dramatic encounters. You can't live your life solely by dramatic encounters because Satan will give you the counterfeit. You must live, make sure you have an encounter with the Word of God first so that you can measure every dream. Well, how do we test the spirits? The Bible says test the spirits. How do you do that? You test it with the Word of God. So you make sure that you know the Word of God. Another thing, there are characteristics to demonic dreams. They are darker in nature. Satan loves, he can't resist making you afraid. He did that with me, he'll do it with other people. He also dreams, his dreams bring torment. 
Now, when he's giving you a deceptive dream, he may even add some scripture to it, okay? He loves doing that. However, there's something that doesn't sit well with you. I call it your peace meter What does your peace say about that? When you wake up, you have the Holy Spirit on the inside of you. What do you feel? What is your general feeling about that dream when you wake up? Is it something that doesn't sit well with you? That means you need to pray about it. So I tell people, pray about the dream. Pray in tongues. Pray about it, and God will reveal to you whether it's from Him or from the devil. You know, is what are you emphasizing? What, what are you emphasizing in your life? If you're emphasizing the genuine rather than looking for the devil all the time, yeah. you, will, it, 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 you won't want to touch something that's not genuine. Exactly. You get so used to the real that you're enjoying the fellowship with God. You're enjoying His presence. I don't want the devil. I'm not looking for some false spirit. I'm looking for the Holy Spirit. Tell me about warning dreams. Yeah, I, I had a warning dream. I had many warning dreams, but I had one one time that I didn't listen. I listened a little bit, and then I went back to what I was doing. I needed to get a worship leader because my wife and I had taken over a redeveloping church in Maryland. And so when we got there, I was the first black pastor in the church's history. We needed to adjust the worship a little bit. We needed to get a more contemporary sound, and I called it with a gospel twist. I needed to find someone who could play black gospel. So well, I had an idea. I said, I'm going to look at some of the neighboring churches, and I'm going to get somebody and get that sound that I want. I, I had a dream that I was in this setting, in a church setting, and I saw these oversized Hammond B3 organs, and they were playing. I was enjoying the music. I was getting my praise on. And all of a sudden, a wasp came out of one of those organs and stung me in the neck. I felt it. It was painful. I woke up from the dream, and the Lord was telling me, you need to wait. This is going to sting you, the music ministry. You need to wait. So I waited. God sent us a wonderful worship leader, and I obeyed the Lord. After he left, two years, he was there for two years, I went right back to what I originally planned. Instead of listening to the dream, I decided to fill that position right away. Immediately, the music ministry suffered. I went through four worship leaders just like that, and to top it all off, one day, I walked out on my porch and I got stung in the neck by an actual wasp. The dream came back to my mind, and now I immediately obey the Lord with any warning dream. I bet you also write down your dreams. Uh, I do. I write them down. I make sure that I get them on paper. I put them on my iPad. And you say dreams can confirm what the will of the Lord is. Sometimes people need confirmation from the Lord because something that God wants to do in your life is so wonderful that you, you need something to anchor your soul. So God, because sometimes He can't get to us when we're awake, He can get to you when you're asleep. <laughs> and He can put things and instructions in your mind. And so dreams come to confirm certain things. You've been praying about something, God will give you a dream. I had a confirming dream um, and also a healing dream. After the death of my brother, my brother was killed back in the 80s. I was 17, he was 20, and he was gunned down. He had a wonderful heart, but he got hooked on drugs. And the whole family, it was difficult for us because we were moving to South Carolina when he died in New York. But I had a dream about him one night, because you want to know where, he, where is he? What did he, did he receive course. Jesus Christ? When loved ones die of everyone. Exactly, you want to know. And so I had a dream one night that I was in heaven and I saw this beautiful meadows, this green grass, and he was under a tree. And I said, Derek, I miss you so much. Derek, I miss you so much. And he began to talk to me, and he said, it was always God's plan to fellowship with humankind. It was always his plan. And I said, this is my brother. When he was alive, he talked slang. He was a man in the streets. He's talking perfect diction. And so it was a healing dream for me, and it confirmed that he was in heaven. I'm not, I, didn't, I don't worry about where he is now. I know where he is because I saw him in a dream. You know what that tells me? God is more merciful yes. than we can even fathom. Amen. Amen. We don't know what someone does before they die. And so the Lord revealed that to me and it was healing for me and my family. When we return, 
Charles will release an impartation for you to understand your dreams and discern and destroy the spirit of deception and the spirit of the counterfeit in your dreams. Be right back. We will be right back to It's Supernatural! Call now to get Charles R. Fox's brand new powerful book, Night Vision, plus his three-part audio CD teaching set, Your Journey to Supernatural Dream Encounters. In addition, you'll get his bonus audio CD, Night Vision for Children, and you'll receive his Night Vision Assurance Card. You can't get this anywhere else. Yours for a donation of $39. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9830 through Dr. Charles R. Fox's brand new powerful book, Night Vision, plus his three-part audio Audio CD teaching set, Your Journey to Supernatural Dream Encounters. Dr. Fox lays a solid foundation by offering the biblical basis for dreams. You will get practical advice, common dream symbols, and prayers of activation into greater night encounters with the Lord. Through this book and three-part audio CD teaching series, Dr. Fox will teach you how to begin having nightly dream encounters with God, interpret your own dreams, recognize God's instruction, warning, and encouragement in the night season discern the counterfeit dreams, interpret others' dreams, engage the enemy with boldness and clarity, destroy the spirit of deception and counterfeit in your dreams, turn your nightmares from the enemy around to God's advantage. Dr. Fox has included anointed prayers of impartation on each audio CD, plus activations to empower you and help you properly interpret your dreams. Plus, you will get his bonus audio CD, Night Vision for Children. Charles equips your children's ability to communicate communicate and fellowship with the Lord and take authority over the enemy's nightmares. And you will get his Night Vision Assurance Card. It includes five dream insights, each with a scripture and a prayer to equip you with the strategies from heaven so you can be assured your dream life is consecrated every night unto the Lord. Don't miss out on getting Charles R. Fox's brand new powerful book, Night Vision, plus his three-part audio CD teaching set, Your Journey to Supernatural Dream Encounters. In addition, you'll get his bonus audio CD, Night Vision for Children, and you'll receive his Night Vision Assurance Card. You can't get this anywhere else. Yours for a donation of $39. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9830. Call or you can send your check to Sid Roth. It's Supernatural, P.O. Box 39222, Charlotte, North Carolina, 28278. Please specify offer number 9830 or log on to SidRoth.org. Call or write today. We now return to It's Supernatural. Tell me what feedback you get from others that sit under your ministry. You know, people that are reading the book and those that sit under our ministry, they start having dreams. Recently, I gave a book to an Ethiopian guy and he read parts of the book and he said he had to put it down because he got scared because he was having dreams. I said, it's okay, it's normal. I expect you to have dreams. So he finished the book. Now he says he's dreaming every night. Hmm. Another person, she's a Muslim woman. And I gave her the book because dreams are very important to the Muslim world. She had the book, she had an encounter. She saw herself floating and flying. Then she gave the book to her mother. They're both from Senegal. And I was able to start to share Jesus with her because of that. So people immediately, even people from your staff who have read the book, they're starting to tell me that they're having encounters. Well, the, these, you know, I'm hearing, I'm getting this feedback that everyone that is reading his book or hearing his voice, it's the impartation on yes. your voice. What you have, you can give to others. What you don't have, you can't give to others. That's right, amen. And so it comes right off of your voice it comes right off of your written word, and people understand that. Uh, you have tips that so few people, so many wonderful tips that you speak on and write about. Uh, give us a few tips to increase our hearing from God. Yeah, it's real practical. One thing, most people are sleep deprived. Get a good night's rest because if you don't get a good night's nice rest, you'll never get into what we say call REM sleep. That's rapid eye movement. That is the cycle of deep sleep. If you're not having enough time in deep sleep, you're not gonna dream. 
Another thing, set the right atmosphere before going to bed. Don't watch a bunch of bad news or fake news, because if you watch that stuff, it's going to affect your dream life. Another thing that I do, I set the tone by reading scripture or I watch ISN, I do. That's not just a plug for ISN, I actually watch it because there's people on there who are anointed and I want to receive more. I want to receive impartation. Also, you read my book, you read other books that are based upon anointed books, you'll get an impartation to dream more. You set the tone. You yeah. said something that mm -hmm. I think is so important. Mm -hmm. People devalue their dreams. You said value your dreams. Yes. Come in. Yeah, if you value your dreams, and how do you value your dreams? You have an iPad or you have a journal next to your bed. When you have a dream, you write down details and then you'll get more because you're valuing what heaven is giving you. When you value, you get more. When you stop valuing them, God may go to someone else because he can trust them. Why are dreams so pivotal in the greater harvest glory? You know, dreams are pivotal because the Bible says in the last days, God would pour out His Spirit and your sons and daughters would prophesy. Your young men would see visions. Your old men will, will dream dreams. This is the last day prophetic activity. That's why it's supposed to be the norm for believers. God is giving dreams to unbelievers. People are seeing Jesus in their dreams who are unbelievers. Of course, believers need to be having dreams. They gotta be normal. Very important right now. The most important thing right now. Do you know that Jesus lives inside of you? Have you had your own experiential knowledge with him? Well, now is the set time. Repeat this prayer after me and believe it to the best of your ability. Out loud, dear Jesus, I have sinned and I'm so sorry. I believe the blood of Jesus washes away my sins and I'm clean. And now that I'm clean, Jesus, come and live inside of me. Jesus, come and live inside of me. You died for my sins. I make you my Lord. Amen. Charles, pray an impartation of what you carry for us to understand dreams right now. Amen. I will do that. Just lift your hands right now. Father, in the name of Jesus, I declare right now, I come in, first of all, I come against confusion. I come against con deception right now in people's dream lives. I come against blockages right now. And I pray that your people will begin to have dreams. I impart that to them right now. What you have given me, I give them right now. And I impart, I impart wisdom, I impart clarity, and I impart right now the ability to understand your dreams and to be able to interpret them and to interpret the dreams of others. In Jesus' name, amen.